In this video, I will show you how to use iFacial Mocap, an iOS application available on the iPhone, iPad, for face tracking and streaming with 3DS Max. First, please open the App Store on your iPhone, iPad and search for iFacial Mocap. You will find two apps, iFacial Mocap and iFacial Mocap Tur. TR stands for trial, which is free and allows you to test a few seconds of streaming. After you have installed the iOS app, go to the website of iFacial Mocap and you will find a download tab. Go there to download the desktop app of the software. The desktop app is free to download and is compatible with 3DS Max from version 1.15 onward. Open the Google Drive URL and press the download button. Then a screen like this will appear. Press the Open Advanced Settings button. Then, switch the software name from Maya to 3DS Max. Press the Save Settings button so that the next time you start the software, it will start with the 3DS Max settings. At the top of the interface, there is a button called Scripts. Press that one to open the folder. The folder contains sample scenes to test the streaming and the actual scripts to be used. First, drag and drop the script file onto the scene. The iFacial mocap panel will open. Then, open the Max file. It contains the facial objects that will be used for the motion test. Then, Please start iFacial Mocap on your iPhone and press the Wait Connection button in the iFacial Mocap panel. Enter the IP address number written in the blue bar on the iPhone into the desktop application. After that, press the Connect to 3DS Max button to see the iPhone and 3DS Max communicating in real time. Note that iFacial mocap will be automatically disconnected when you press the disconnect button in the desktop application. iFacial Mocap has the ability to transfer data recorded in the iOS app to a PC. 
After recording in the iOS app, press the Bake Recorded Animation button in the desktop app. The recording data sent from the iPhone can be slowly sent to 3DS Max. Bake animation will cause lag and should not be used. If you use Bake Recorded Animation, the animation data will be baked cleanly. Let me explain the sample scene. A group called All Grep is created. A Morpher modifier is attached to the object named Neutral. If you look at the Morpher modifier, you will see that there are 52 morphs. If you create a morpher that matches the names of these 52 morphs, your custom avatar will behave in the same way as the sample object. The name of the object to which the morpher modifier is applied can be any name other than neutral. Let's test the behavior with a simple object. Create a simple cube and apply the Morpher modifier to one of them. Vertex edit the other cube and rename it Jaw Open. The morph name for the mouth open is named Jaw Open in the sample object. The name of the object with the Morpher on the left side is Box 001. So I entered box 001 in the face obj grep name field. Then, if you burn the eye facial mocap panel, press the Wait Connection button and press the Connect to 3DS Max button, Box 001 will automatically move when the mouth is opened by the iPhone camera. If you enter Box 001 in the Headbone field, when your head moves on the iPhone camera, Box 001 will also move according to the movement of your head. The morph moves with the opening of the mouth while rotating with the movement of the head. This section explains how to move two or more objects with morphers at the same time. First, duplicate the object. The bottom box and the top box both have morphers. Select box 001 and box 002 and group them together. Now that group 001 is created. Enter the name of group 001 in the field, face obj grep name. Then press the connect to 3ds max button and both box 001 and box 002 will move at the same time. 
We often create facial objects by separating the eyebrow, tongue, and skin objects, but if we give them a grouping, we can move all the objects with morphers in the group. Let's take a look at some of the features of desktop application. There are functions to change the axis of rotation of the head and to change the name of the morph. For example, you can rename the jaw open morph to something like mouth open. There are also other functions that allow you to adjust various parameters. There is also a function to change the destination port number, and a function to save and export settings. iFacial mocap has been linked to many other applications besides 3ds Max. There is a file extension called VRM that is suitable for selling 3D avatars. Software called VMagic Mirror, which can load and run VRM models. And software called Luppet can also run with iFacial mocap. It can also be used with many other software such as HANA App, VCAP Studio, VC Face, etc.